We do have breaking news tonight from Cairo, where after a day of unprecedented violence, the night gives way to armed chaos. The Egyptian military stood neutral as pro and anti mubarak crowds exchanged punches and rocks and flaming bottles of gasoline throughout the day. But how will they respond now that bullets are flying through Liberation Square? It is the most frightening moment yet in the capital of America's biggest Mideast ally. And once again, Christian Amanpour is on the scene with the latest. Christian. Bill, good morning. It has been a very, very ugly night and it could shape up to be an even uglier day. This after violent protests all day yesterday. It's quieter now as dawn is breaking and people now are pouring into the square. But for at least two hours in the pre-dawn hours, there was shooting, heavy shooting into the protesters and into that square where women and children also have been all night. We have reports from people we've contacted in the square of the army at one point firing into the air and saying, please hold your fire for the love of Egypt. As I say, this after a full day of pitch battles turning Liberation Square into something of a war zone as people fought for control of that piece of territory and also for political control. This was the day that a largely peaceful uprising took a dark and violent turn. If it began as a spontaneous eruption, it ended up looking like deliberately orchestrated political theater. Planned and organized by pro-Mubarak forces taking place on the world stage with live cameras looking on. It started with a group of pro-Mubarak demonstrators shouting angrily, he's not leaving making their way towards the anti-Mubarak protesters assembled in Liberation Square. They streamed in on foot along the Nile and even floated down it. We were standing on a nearby rooftop watching as their numbers exploded. And suddenly this almost medieval sight, men riding horses and camels galloping in at breakneck speed, charging the crowd and cracking their whips. Soon this square was a battleground and it raged on for hours. Rocks were hurled from both sides. There were bloody beatings and Molotov cocktails tossed into the crowd. Some were likely genuine Mubarak supporters, but others clearly thugs sent in as agitators. Each time the pro-Mubarak forces charged them, the protesters fell back and then started inching forward again. All around this historic square, even in front of the Egyptian Antiquities Museum, people began ripping up pavement and turning it into weapons. At least three were killed and hundreds more were injured. A mosque has been turned into a field hospital. In the end, the protesters managed to keep control of their square and the political high ground. But the battle lines were redrawn after Mubarak's supporters tried to steal their victory. And we found ourselves on a dangerous side of this fight. We return to find out what's going on at the end of the day inside the square. And very menacing messages were directed our way. Don't go there, they said. Don't take your camera or else you'll meet your destiny. We, we will. Okay. An angry mob of pro-Mubarak supporters quickly surrounded us. We had American, we had any country more. Okay, go to any place more. You want us to go? Yes, I want you to go to from here. Why? Well, because we are hurt you. We hate American. You hate us? Yes, I hate you and I hate you. Why do you hate us? You are not good personal. Go to any place more, please. Go to any place more. You are not with us. Okay, you are not with us. Okay. They kicked in the car doors and broke our windshields as we drove off. We left that angry crowd and got into our car. They forced us into our car. And as we started to drive off, they hit the car with their fists over and over again and threw a rock through the front window. The glass is shattered all over our driver. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Waggy? No. Did they hit no, you? No. But you did a good job, Waggy. You did a no, good job. Yeah, you got us out of there. I'm Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. You glass? Because glass? Glass? Everything is okay. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, you intact. It's good. Okay, yes. Anyway, I want to park the car and talk. Okay, come you. upstairs then. Come and talk upstairs. Come and have a cup of coffee. 
This morning, it had been a far different scene. The day had begun with some good news. The internet was restored after a six-day blackout, and the curfew was being shortened. The atmosphere in Tahrir Square the day after is very different. The crowds are thinner, but the signs are still saying, game over. The question is then, how much will be enough? And after finally forcing major concessions from their president, these protesters found themselves with mixed emotions. We are deceived, really. We feel very bad. We feel deceived. It is a very bad feeling. We want him to go. What, and you're crying. Yeah, it feels very bad that the people are deceived now. He managed to deceive us all. How do you mean deceived? His speech is everything. Uh, there's something underlying behind his speech. We can't understand what he wants, really. And I feel he's just trying to uh, 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 let people yeah, empathize with, with him. He's and he's very mad. With us. What did you say? He's trying to, pay, to play with us. He's trying to do a game, a game. Many were still frustrated, feeling that Mubarak should leave immediately. Just now he should go out, out of Egypt. No he's a dictator, he should go, right now. The big banner demanding the removal of the regime is still hanging. For a lot of people, what Mubarak said still isn't enough. Others wanted to allow him a gradual and dignified exit. Your sign says we, ex we respect your history, but it's over. Yes, ma'am. What do you feel has happened here in the last week? Uh, a dream. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a dream. Revolution. A uh, revolution. A dream that I, I'll never, in my the greatest dreams, I could never have dreamt of this. I am protesting for the bad things, but I am grateful for the good things. Yeah, there's a lot of things, bad things. Okay, I'm protesting for it. Uh, he, he's, he's not supposed to stay for 30 years. We, we, we need to change, of course. Uh, but he has good things. I, I will be unrespectful if I didn't respect uh, what he did. Around 4 a.m., heavy gunfire erupted and the clash has taken on a sinister turn. And as dawn breaks, there are calls from the mosques for Egyptians to come to the square to help the demonstrators.